Rancher 4, everyone. In the last episode, Engel managed to achieve the S-Class, though Loza ran away. So it's been in a few ups and downs here at the No Fatty Farm, but hopefully we can make some progress because my morale for the game is starting to wane. I love the game, but I feel like I haven't really made a whole lot of progress in the game. So I'm just feeling a little, uh... I don't know, I'm feeling a little, um, feeling a little fatigued mentally. I don't know. I don't know. I want to keep going with the series. I do have an end game in mind, but there are times. Oh, shit. I didn't see what Tavi's thing was. Okay, she's, okay, let's see. Praise Heckhound. And Heckhound, in fact, achieved his goal. So, praise Hackhound, and then we'll check Tabby. So, praise Hackhound. And I think now I need to get his accuracy to 85, uh, 35. <laughs> I wish it was 85. Uh, 35. All right, so Tabby is tired. She was 81, and that meets the threshold. So, because when you're tired, the threshold is 80, according to the Alfredo method of discipline. So... We'll give her a praise. And Heckhound needs some nums. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. And then we'll give Tabby a nanner. Actually, she's tired. We'll feed her next week. Uh, Mimi is frustrated. Okay. Angle is resting. And we'll max out his food by giving him a vitamin. There you go, buddy. Okay. Anyway, um, yes, as I've said multiple times, I do have an end game in mind for the series. I want to at least get someone through the official S-Class tournament and see the final four tournaments that are beyond it. Or at least that's supposedly what happens. I don't even know because I've never gotten that far. But uh, if Engel loses this, I'm not... I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going because... We are 91 episodes deep in the series, and I still feel like I have not really achieved much in the past 60. So, um, but, uh, you know, I'm still trying, and you guys are still enjoying the series, so I'm not giving up on, giving up on it anytime soon. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right. Oh, that's not bad, though. He's only got a 26% chance of hitting me. Oh, my God, Angle. Jesus. Uh, fuck. Well, there's a win. Okay, morale going up a little bit. But that was just, that was a joker. That wasn't... <sighs> that wasn't a golem or a dragon. Or a bee claw. Oh, God. I don't know, maybe it's just... Maybe those stats are largely irrelevant because, like, the, oh, fuck. It just looks so intimidating how much red is on that stat chart. All right. Still only a 35% chance it's not worth a count. Oh, fuck you. I got hit with a 35% chance and took an injury. God damn it! Well, this tells me that power and accuracy are pretty good. And speed really does make an impact at that level. So I'm going to double check some num some numbers real quick. Angle is hurt. He probably won't be back in time for the five on five tournament. Lowe's is here. That's good. Um, oh, God, I wish I could pull up his numbers because I want to know where he's at on speed and power and everything. All right, so... God damn it. All right. <sighs> okay, Mimi is working on her power. Tavi needs to rest. Loza. <sighs> Get back to speed, buddy. It is clearly very important to do speed. And Heckhound can do that. Okay. 
So Tavi's going to be resting two weeks in a row, but that's all right. So, oh shit. Yeah, I meant to redo Heckhound. Sorry. Um, okay, so we're going to scold Heckhound. I know you're tired. Fuck me. God, that move hit so hard. So we haven't even gotten through an S-Class tournament without someone getting injured yet. That's very disheartening. Because all that's doing is taking years, months, weeks, whatever, off of Loza's, or, um, well, off their lives. And I'm already having trouble, so just, ugh. God. All right. Like, at this point, I don't even know if I'm missing something or, again, that the game is just that fucking hard. And if the game's that hard, then fair enough. Fair enough if the game is that hard. But still, just... Ugh. Okay, we gotta get Hackhound's accuracy to 35. That's our new goal. Hmm. And Engel is still injured. Okay. You mean you get to rest. Tavi, you get to rest. Loza, you're fine. Heckhound, you get to rest. There you go, Loza. You know what? I'm going to put him on speed 30 because, like I said, clearly speed is very, very relevant for the S class. So I'm just going to keep him going. And Mimi, you're going to get some food, have a popato, because we need you at full nums for the next tournament, although it probably doesn't matter since we're going to ace it. And Tavi, you're going to get a... give you a butt peach. Hopefully I'm not over fattening her. All right. Loza, you're fine. I'm not going to do anything. And Heckhound, you're fine. All right. <sighs> I just... I, I feel like... I just feel frustrated that we get... Uh, okay, once again, we're in Vizlay, so I'm going to have to mute the battle audio once we start. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just frustrated at the fact that we do so well until we hit the S-Class... And the difficulty jump and stat requirement is just so big. Such a huge jump over the A class. And I'm just, I'm getting frustrated, man. So, let's see, in case you're, in case you're new to the channel for some reason and starting on episode 91 of this mess, um, I'm definitely not the type of Let's Player who is going to fake rage his way through the game. Um, I've tried doing that whole fake rage thing like, say, Angry Video Game Nerd or KSI LegitBT or whatever. Playing up the anger just sounds so weird and fake coming from me. I don't. Um, when I get frustrated, if I'm not dropping F-bombs, um, like in Punch... or not Punch Out, uh, Fight Night, um, if I'm getting frustrated in a game, it's seething. And just this lack of... I don't know, ju just fatigue. It's it's a combination of fatigue and silence. And I just, ugh, just ugh. So I'm getting to that point with Monster Rancher 4. But I don't want to keep putting the series in hiatus because, I don't know, you guys love Monster Rancher and I love Monster Rancher. I just want more progress than I've got going, you know? Because I can do anything under S-Class all day, but and we're just dominating. But once we hit S-Class, man, I have not figured out the formula for that. It's killing me. Ah. Well, once, once we get our new Phoenix, at least we'll have an idea. Because we'll go with the Alfredo method of discipline, and we're going to use three... We're going to get his speed up rather than just his offense. So, And Loza just hit life stage five. Great. Okay, so... Uh, Mimi's working on power. Tavi is working on accuracy. Wait, she's not at H2 yet. 
Maybe that doesn't even matter. <sighs> Loza's working on speed. Hackhound is working. Oh, but he's at age five, so I shouldn't use those. And... Oh, fuck it. It doesn't matter. We'll just keep it going. And Heckhound is gonna work on his accuracy as well. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay, praise Tavi. Praise Heckhound. Scold Loza. Praise. He did it really well, considering how hungry he is, too. Alright, have a squid. So yeah, that's why I keep encouraging you guys to give me some uh, hints in the comments, because... I'm gonna... I keep saying this every session. I say this every session, but I need to read up on the game. Just, I haven't been able to find too many guides that give too much specific advice, just general advice. And a lot of it is stuff I already know, um, or stuff I'm already doing. Just for whatever reason, I can't get over that hump. That just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying. Still trying. <sighs> this is always the worst thing in life and games and everything for me. It's when you make incremental progress and then hit a wall, you know, I... Wish life had progress bars. So that you could see if you were actually making progress for things. Just. But here I almost. I just feel like I keep banging my head against a wall and I'm not getting anywhere. Alright. Okay. Praise Mimi. Scold Loza. Uh, checking numbers here. Yeah, Mimi's almost at where I want her, so. Maybe it's because I've got Lowe's on a machine. Maybe I should just take them off it. I, I never have them do machines on when they're at their final life stage. Because of this reason. So, I'm, I'm getting frustrated enough that, like... That's why, um... That's why I'm making mistakes, because I'm frustrated enough and kind of demoralized enough after all these losses and injuries that I'm just like, I don't even care anymore, kind of thing. All right, Tavi, have a nanner. Actually, I have a melon, which is bigger than your head and torso combined. <laughs> That's a lot of melon to scarf down. All right. Yeah. Should do it, and now we're gonna have a Tabby tournament. Then I'm gonna have to double check the calendar because I don't remember if I've got everything set correctly. Were the other games this hard? Because I never got this far with any of the other Monster Ranchers either. I know Monster Rancher 3 was crazy, stupid, easy because of the system they had going. Uh, my friend Zane. Uh, beat it within with only two monsters um, but I don't ref I, I never got nearly this far in the other mon in monster Rancher one and two so I don't know how good they were or how easy they were which is one reason why I'm looking forward to playing them again if I can ever get out of this monster Rancher four thing so <laughs> one can hope. Of course, Monster Rancher 1 and 2 also were easier to teach moves. Well, and 3, I think, were easier to teach moves because moves just appeared. They didn't... Uh, you didn't have to go through adventuring nonsense to get them. Oops. Windy Lance. Boof. Final Guts. Yep. Yeah. The animation took a second too long. And kaboof. Good job, Tavi. Okay, that is, I think, Tavi's third monster star, so she is ready to get promoted to the C class. And so does, um, so is, uh, uh, Mimi, so those two have no more matches they have to do for a while, which is kind of nice. We can just focus on training for them. Um, it's going to take a while to get them up there, but whatever works. Kind of wish official tournaments happened more often than they do, but 
It's part of the challenge. It's part of the challenge. All right, so... Yes, that's Mimi's, and then this will be Tabby's over in July. That feels like forever away. Okay, nothing else. Let's... <sighs> Am I right? Should I try it? I mean, what the hell is it going to matter, right? I may as well fucking try. All right, so you're fine. And you're going to work on your accuracy. We're going to rest you twice since you're so old. And we'll rest you. Okay, Tabby's threshold is 90. And good job, Tabby. God damn. Yeah, okay. That seems to be what I need to do. The Alfredo method of discipline works very, very well. Good job, Tabby. Alright. Scold you. Do better. Alright. Um, food for you. And we'll hold off food off for Loza until next week. So I guess it was a good call bringing the book back because Loza's not going to live much longer, especially if he gets injured in this next tournament. Oh, hi, Engel. All right. So you get to rest. You're good. You get to rest again. Sandbag. And you're... Let's see, you're back on trampoline. <sighs> okay, so nobody gets praised or scolded. Tavi hits her goal, so now I'll bring her power up to 15. Um, okay, I didn't check her threshold this time, but... She's definitely below it. Yeah, at 82%, her, she's below threshold unless she's tired or hungry, which I don't think she is. Oh, she is tired. Um, okay. Yeah, um, in case you didn't respond to me, Alfredo, if you were watching this episode, when you do... Where do you put your threshold? Is it before the week starts or after the week? The week's training ends like this because that's kind of important for timing and such. But uh, all right, well I'll roll with whichever way you go. Okay, two periods of rest and some food. Loza's not going to be more prepared than he is now. He's lively. All right, and then, yeah, I figured Angle would be hungry. I have a squid, buddy. Actually, I have a beef. You've earned it. Okay, one more S-Class tournament. Did I say this was Invisalay? Sure did. All right, one more time with the uh, muting battle audio. And I'm running up on 20 minutes, so... Um, I'll call it after the first battle, either way. I wonder if maybe Loza's... Oh god, that, all that red, man. Shit. Oh. Uh, that is not a good start to this, I'll tell you that. God, that was even a power attack, and I only got 143 on him. Why was my accuracy attack not much worse? That's weird. Did he drain my guts? Should have more guts than that by now. Alright, I'm going to have to counter if he tries anything. Yes! Okay. Okay. 
fuck. Okay, that didn't, that wasn't much of an overkill, so hopefully Loza survived that. Okay, Loza did survive it. Okay, well, we're off to a bad start. Maybe we can get somewhere, I don't know, maybe we'll do better in the, tomorrow. Anyway, so yeah, we'll continue this tournament tomorrow, and we'll see what happens to Loza then. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.